Let's continue nested subprogram structure. What is the mean of nested subprogram? If you are in any subprogram and if you should go to the uh, any another subprogram, uh, it is called as nested subprogram. Okay, nested subprogram means if you are in any subprogram and you need to go another subprogram from there. So uh, this kind of subprogram called as nested subprogram. Here we have an example. Uh, before this, uh, we can say about this example, if you go any subprogram, you need to keep uh, two bytes uh, address value in the RAM, right? For each subprogram. But uh, if you talk about the nested subprogram, uh, you will go to the upward as like that. We will learn now. Here we have a program, and your program will start from this label, uh, and it is the first subprogram commands. What will be happen now? The returning address will be kept as like that. Uh, the first value is kept 0, 08 hex and stack pointer increased by 1, 0, 09 hex. And the second address, program counter high value, is loaded to this address. Uh, what, is, what is obtained from 0205 hex? We know this a call command has two bytes, and the next command after this command has a zero two zero five sorry yes five x address value. So what is the last value of the program counter? What is your uh, label? Your label here and address value one a zero and uh, zero two hex. Your program will continue from here, and we have another subprogram command here, alcohol. So we need to keep uh, another returning address in the RAM again. What is the last value of the stack pointer? 0, 09, as you see here. So first of all, this value increased by one again. It means it will be. 0 a hex. What is the returning address? L call command, uh, as you know, L call command, 3 byte. So the next command will be 1 b 2 3 hex. The low part of your program counter, 23. The first value is loaded uh, to the address as like that. And then stake pointer increased by one, it will be zero B hex here. Zero B hex. Uh, what is the high part of your program counter? One B. And this value is loaded to the this address. And now stake pointer last value will be zero B and program counter value. Uh, what is your label again? In here, 2B, 3C hex. So your program will uh, follow this road and continue from here. Now, we have a red comment here. Uh, we need to return an address. Uh, we will call the stack pointer and uh, we say, uh, we say it. Uh, please give me returning address. Uh, the last value we know, 0B hex, and in this address, we know this, it should be program counter high value for us. And then, uh, stack pointer value decreased by 1, it should be 0A hex, and it should be again program counter low value. So, program counter should be 1B3, uh, 2, 3 hex. Uh, please don't forget it. Stake pointer value decreased by 1 again, and it will be finished.
the last value of stack pointer 09 hex. Where is this address in the program? Uh, we have to find it. Uh, this line, as you see, 1b23 hex. We should follow this road. And again, here we have another red comment. <clears throat> What is the last value of the stack pointer? 09 hex. Uh, in this address, we know this. It should be program counter high decreased by one. This is program counter low. Your program counter value should, will be uh, 0205 hex. <clears throat> and finally, stack pointer value decreased by one. The last value will be. 0, 7 hex. Then your program will go back to the uh, related address. In here we have this address, and <clears throat> program will continue from this line. In here we have we have unconditional branching command. Uh, your program tends to the x1 again. Okay. Nested sub program is like that. But uh, for each nested sub program, we need another two byte RAM area. So if you don't, don't really need to use nested sub program, uh, we don't use because uh, your RAM will be used for the uh, store returning address, uh, as you see. For two nest, uh, to, for two sub program uh, in the nested sub program, we used four byte area. If you used another one more nested sub program, it should be six, eight, ten, and blah blah. Okay. So if you don't really need to use, you don't use. Don't use, please. 